Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. In this video we are going to have a discussion of a famous story titled White Heron written by Sara Ann Javit. Sara Ann Javit was an American novelist, a short story writer and poet. She was best known for her local color works set along or near the southern sea coast of Maine. At the age of 19, Sara published her first important story in the Atlantic Monthly and her reputation grew throughout the 1870s and and 1880s. Some of her poetry was collected in verses 1916. She also wrote three children books, three children's books. Feminist critics have since championed her her writing for its rich account of women's lives and voices a white heron type a white heron 1886 is a collection of short stories and it is one of her finest works now let's know about the story the white heron a white heron is a short story by sara on javit javit first published by Hawkton Mifflin and Company in 1886 it was soon collected as a title story in Javits anthology titled a white heron and other stories this story follows a young city girl and her name is Sylvia who came to live with her grandmother in the country she meets a young ornithologist hunter seeking to find a rare bird that he recently spotted in the area as the story progresses silvia is challenged with whether or not she should tell the hunter she saw the bird she also discovers her passion for the country life and her love and values for the animals that inhabit it now the story begins silvia stays with her grandmother Sylvia is a young girl who lives in the woods with her grandmother Mrs Tilley in Maine. On a June evening she is driving home a cow she is driving home a cow and her cow name is Mistress Mully which she has been looking she has been out looking for. We learn that Sylvia loves to wander in the woods loitering and straying before coming home. before coming home silvia had lived with her parents in a crowded city for the first 8 years of her life but enjoys life in the country with her grandmother with her grandmother she likes to the she likes to live more in the uh, in the woodland moreover silvia is according to her grandmother silvia is afraid of people and much prefers the company of the animals like the cow which is her champion now silvia encounters meets a young man as silvia is walking home she hears a whistling sound and meets a tall handsome young man carrying a gun he asks her for directions towards a road she tells him it is quite a distance away he tells her he has been hunting birds and managed to get loose managed to get lost and he then ask if he can accompany her home and spend the night at her farm house or at a farm silvia reluctantly leads the stranger to the farm where she lives with her grandmother mrs tilly is very happy to play the hostess and give him a bed for the night and some milk to drink the men tells them that He is an ornithologist and has been out hunting for birds to add his collection of stuffed specimens. Now the hunter offer something to Sylvia. When the hunter discovers that Sylvia, who according to grandmother, Sylvia takes after her uncle Dan, knows her way around the woods. He wonders if she would if she would show him. where he might find a rare white heron which he plans on adding to his collection but silvia who is watching a toad while he is talking 
does not fully hear what he is saying until he mentions that until he mentions the white heron he offers them 10 dollars if she will show him where to find the white heron now silvia accompanies the hunter through the woods the next day silvia goes out with a stranger walking through the woods together silvia is careful not to lead the way and because of her natural shyness barely speaks to him however as they walk together she relaxes in his company but when he starts shooting birds out of the trees she is very horrified silvia sees white heron something is being awakened in her when the evening comes they begin to walk home without having seen the white heron at night silvia cannot sleep without because she is thinking about how to give the stranger what he wants because before dawn she heads out to a huge tree what does she do before dawn she heads out to the to a huge tree and she climbs it expertly looking out at a distant sea then finally she sees the white heron in its nest so she has already located the white heron now silvia sacrifice silvia goes home but when she has asked about it she does not tell the stranger where he can find the white heron he seeks he leaves the farm and the narrator praises the bond silvia shares with nature while calling her lonely because the first true friend she had made has gone away and left her silvia knows that she would be awarded much needed money that is 10 dollars for directing him to the white heron but she decides that she can play no part in bringing about the bird's death the hunter eventually departs without his prize silvia grows up to ponder if her choice to conceal the white heron secret was a better choice than to receive the young man's money and friendship the author states that the treasures silvia might have lost are easily forgotten among the splendors of the woodland now after reading this story we find few important themes in the story the story a white heron has two clear interrelated themes number 1 the loss of innocence and the dawning of romantic love and the love and care for nature which silvia embodies in choosing to give up the latter the latter in pursuit of the former silvia makes the decision to remain lonely at least for the time being without any human friend now the strange the stranger has departed thank you so much for listening dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukeshenglish@gmail.com please do subscribe the channel click on the like button for more videos on literature workbook pronunciation grammar communication skills presentation skills interview skills stay in tune with mukesh english thank you once again